The thing about redox equations is that they're constructed from two half equations. In order to balance the full equation, we need to figure out what those half equations are. Step one is to use oxidation states to figure out what has been oxidized and what has been reduced. So copper starts off with an oxidation state of zero because it's a metal and it ends up as plus two. Clearly, it has been oxidized because the oxidation state has increased. Nitrogen goes from an oxidation state of plus five in the nitrate ion to plus four in nitrogen dioxide. So we can see that the nitrogen has been reduced. Step two is to complete each of these half equations. The first one, we've got copper going to the copper ion. To get there, it was oxidized, so it lost electrons. In this case, two electrons. In our reduction half equation, we can see that each nitrogen must have gained an electron in order to move from an oxidation state of plus five to plus four. However, this half equation is not complete because we need to balance out the oxygens. And we do that by adding water. I have three oxygens on the left hand side, two on the right. So I need to add just one water molecule. My oxygens are now balanced. But now I've introduced hydrogen into this half equation. I can balance the hydrogens in the water by adding hydrogen ions to the left hand side, in this case two. Now we can combine the half equations in such a way as the electrons cancel out, which means that I need to take my reduction half equation and multiply it by two. Then the electrons will cancel out on either side of the arrow. So my final equation is going to be copper plus two nitrate plus four hydrogen ions goes to form the copper two plus plus two NO2 plus two H2O. The equation is now balanced and the answer to the question is four. Everything you need to revise redox equations, including plenty of exam question practice, is ready and waiting at Crunch Chemistry. There's a link in the blurb below.